Everybody get ready. Get it together. I don't Just even, remember, I don't need this with this we guy. have security. Okay? He played a bad boy on the Gilmore Girls, a hero on Heroes, and now he plays a super dad on the series This Is Us. Please welcome Milo Ventimiglia. It's an oh yeah, and this is an oh yes, not an oh no. That's an oh yes? What For, happened? Uh, I had a little surgery. Oh. I'd had some torn tendons, got them fixed. Okay. Um, but this is an oh yes for two reasons. One, I got my arm fixed, but two, I can now carry a bunch of stuff in it. So. Oh, that's cool. You yeah. put snacks in there? I do. <laughs> are you I a, put everything in it. It's, are it's, you it's, a it's all there. crunchy or creamy peanut butter? Creamy. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! East Coaster? West Coaster. West Coaster? Yeah, born and raised Los, uh, in south of Los Angeles in Orange County, California. This entire theory about West Coasters liking crunchy is all, all wrong. Oh, they're all crunchy. They're, that's so what, I'm the odd man out. Well, so yeah. is he. Got it. Yeah. Because you like creamy, but you're it's Nice to be here. sitting with another creamy dude there, Milo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm going to guys. Um, so did you, ha did you used to go to Disneyland all the time all the as a time. kid? Oh, yeah. yeah, all the time. I mean... It's right there, right? It's right there. And I, I feel like if you, if you are from Southern California, you have to go to Disneyland, have to have an annual pass. Oh, you have an annual pass. When I was a kid, I did. Yeah. And, I mean, it, was, it may be a little different now, but when you're a kid, that's where you'd go and meet other girls from other high schools. Right. <laughs> Because yes. there used to be a band in Tomorrowland, and, and when, you know, every two hours the, the, the stage would pop up, and, and you just you go and dance and, you know, meet girls from different high schools. That's so funny. My husband yeah. uh, grew up in Florida, uh -huh. and at Disney World, they did the same thing. That's yeah. where they went totally. to meet girls. Yeah. yeah. I did not know Disney was such a pickup place. <laughs> uh, I had no I idea. I didn't know that either. I've been <laughs> taking my kids there this whole time. I, I didn't know I That's a little different. Up and, like, going yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> So your parents still live in Orange County? My folks still live down there, yeah. You know, yeah. It's, we took our son to look at a college down there. And Chapman. He, yeah, University. Chapman. Yes, great yeah. school. Great school. I got to tell you, I love that place. I thought it's the most yeah. beautiful campus, and that town is charming. Yeah, it's, it's uh, so Old Town Orange, where I grew up, it's, it's a lot of uh, vintage and heritage shops. And yeah. uh, the movie That Thing You Do, they filmed it mm -hmm. in that right. circle right there. And it's, yeah. It's a nostalgic, old-feeling, yeah. small town. They got a great comic book shop there, too. They do. Yes. But the do. comic book shop I went to when I was a kid isn't there anymore. Oh, you're kidding. No, my dad used to take me every every Wednesday and get comic books from a place called Fredonia Funnies. Oh, okay. And it's not there anymore. It's kind oh. of a bummer. But... Oh, that's a shame. Well, the new one is good, too. I don't know. I can't remember the yeah. name of it. You should check yeah, it out. Listen, we have to take a commercial break. More with Milo when we return. Stick around. <laughs> Woo! So, was it fun? I just want to talk Gilmore Girls for a second. Yeah. Was it fun going back to I Gilmore was a blast. Girls? Yeah. It was a blast. Yeah. I mean, it's, I feel like that was the show that raised me. You know, you have those yes. experiences as a younger actor, and you're, you're thinking to yourself, God, this is going to impact me yes. as I grow up. That was one of those impactful roles, and I was figuring out, you know, my process and just working with crews, and, and it was fun. It was absolutely fun. Was it back. different the second time around? It was. It was. I mean, you know, in, in, a, in a kind of revival show, it's a, different, it's a different crew. Same cast, same writers, but a different crew. So you're feeling a little out of sorts because yeah. you don't have, you know, Chuck Props, he's not there anymore, yeah. and a couple <laughs> other people. You're just like, wait a minute. I, it's a new crew yeah. that you have to get to know. Were you really a teenager when you shot that? No, I was, I was 24 years old playing yeah. 16. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. how that works. Yeah, yeah that's, that's how, how that it works. goes. Like, got to gotta... shave that morning. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, I think I was about 28 when it was like, oh, no, you really have to shave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now it's like I'm wearing beards and mustaches and goatees and all that, so. I know, I miss the, the um, well, I. Oh, yeah. Mustache. Mustache. You, you a shaved mustache. mustache. Yes. Yeah, yes. I mean, it's funny because, I mean, it used to be a disguise. People didn't recognize me. Then the show came out and then everybody recognized me. And yeah. now I don't have the mustache. People are like, you look so familiar. <laughs> yeah, right, right. I can't quite place you. Was it Starbucks? Were you, speaking of yeah. teen, being a teen, were you a sexy teen? <laughs> I, I don't. No, I mean, I. <laughs> Someone in the audience went, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, that, that was <laughs> me in high school. Oh, how, how dare you? Were you popular? I, I how was, dare you? I was senior class president. I was a captain. The, I was the captain of the wrestling team. But I, but like I did theater. I did theater. I kind of mixed with all the different. Groups. You were like Everyone. Zac Efron in the in the <laughs> in High School Musical. High School Musical, <laughs> yeah. right? Wait, it never. Hello, this is so crazy. 
popular people never make it big. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't you know. are tilting the theory on its head. <laughs> yeah, it's like I just like that whole bell curve. I just, yes, I just screwed you, it all up. Wow. Um, I, I don't know. I just I was just a kid. I was just you know tried to be like friendly and engaging and do the best work I could and and. Make sure everyone felt welcome and, and wow, you time. really are like your character in This Is Us. <laughs> yeah. He's the nicest man in the world. Yeah. I wonder, did Dan Fogelman write it for you? No, he didn't. He didn't write it for me, but I think he had a different idea in his mind of who he wanted Jack to be. Yeah. And I walked in, you know, I had a beard and my hair was growing out, and I had my motorcycle helmet tossed to the side, and I was like, hey guys, I'm happy to be here. And I, I didn't quite fit the mold of what he wanted, but I think he saw in me this working class guy, and that's who Jack became. Hmm. Wow, that's yeah. so cool. Listen, we're gonna talk more about This Is Us with Milo Ventimiglia when we return. It's funny, like, I, I even, I watched the show, and we all watched the show, but you know, I get little, 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 you know, butterflies and excited. Do you cry along with oh, every, totally. the rest 100%. of America? Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you guys something. My <laughs> wife used to cry all the time, because she's married to me and is <laughs> just sad all the time. <laughs> Now I come home and my wife will be in tears and I'll be like, oh, is it me? And she'll be like, I watch This Is Us! Ah! <laughs> yeah. And I'll be like, is everything okay? She's like, no, this is a good cry. Yeah. It's a good cry. Well, it's interesting. Ah! I, I've, been, I've been a part of other popular, successful shows yeah. and I feel like that was entertainment. This is important work. Yeah. I feel like we're breaking people open, forcing them to look at themselves and, and hopefully restructure their lives, maybe a little better, a little kinder, a little more inclusive. And, I don't know, it's, it's good to be a part of something good. That's what we try to do here every day. Yeah, yeah. we try. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have scripts or anything, but we do our, <laughs> we do our best. But, you, but it's really about love and devotion yeah. and, 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 uh, and, and, and you're the parents of three yeah. uh, children and each story ha connects with everyone. Like mm -hmm. there's so, there's, I think the reason the fans are so in love with this show is because it speaks to yeah. the people, it yeah. speaks to Everyone. Yeah, no, it absolutely does. You know, Dan Fogelman, our creator, he has this way of, of attacking every issue, but he mm -hmm. kind of comes at it kind of from the left a yeah. little bit, so you're not seeing it coming, you're not expecting it. Yeah. It's, just, it's heartbreaking, but it's beautiful at the same and time. And he's a nice person. Oh he's not lost his humanity. No, he's yeah. the kindest, funniest. Yeah. Um, he does have a dark soul, I will say this. <laughs> Dan Fogelman has, has a very dark point on... Uh, on, on, on the, the edges of his soul, but he, he's, he's a grand human being. He's just a great guy. <sighs> Milo, what can we say? Oh, you're just part of an amazing show. <laughs> Hope your arm feels better. Thank you. It's amazing. Thank you. This is us, as you know, as Tuesday nights on NBC, so make sure you check out Milo Ventimiglia.